Hello everyone, this is Andreas Pop Culture Guy. Today is the latest Andreas Pop Culture Respected Slash Free, and it's on Hellboy, the 2004 film, uh, directed by Gilmo Del Toro, starring Ron Pullman. Uh, this is uh, uh, this film, the Hellboy 2004 uh, film, first, the first in the Gilmo Del Toro uh, Hellboy series, uh, two, uh, not the reboot. Uh, is it uh, uh has its 20th anniversary this year and it uh came out in 2004 so it's 20 20th anniversary which is awesome so now and the basic of hellboy the story and slash plot of the film goes that back in the days of world war ii the allies they say dropped a plot by the nazis to at least the forces of hell uh, the forces of hell on earth only discovered that a baby demon made it through the army supernatural expert raises this child as its own and 50 years later homeboy is working at the bde the bprd the paranormal um the bureau of paranormal research and defense and battling evil monsters at least when he isn't sneaking out to see his fellow superhuman outcast slash love and chris liz uh spellman at a insane sound. Things hit a sour note in his personal life when his adopted father is faced with a terminal illness, prompting the old man to seek out a potential replacement in a young recruit, which in turn leads a tense, a tense scene with the help character. Meanwhile, the ancient man monk, Rasputin, the main villain of the film, returns from the dead and to continue his evil plan to open the gates of demon, the demon world, a plan that involves everyone's favorite big red demon, held by himself to uh, has a depend a portal to bring forward a monster called uh, uh that's also Jihad, uh, a squealy octopus. Now, Hellboy is one of those rare films that are not only based on a comic book but also feels like a comic. It's vibrant with energy, and you can you can sense the zeal and joy in its making. Of course, its construction of non stop special effects, bizarre makeup, and pre uh. Thus, the storyline, but it carries that baggage lightly. Unlike some CGI movies that lumber from one set piece to another, this one skips the light, uh, lighthearted through the action. The movie is based on the comics by Mike Minola and directed by the awesome Mexican born horror master Guillermo del Toro, uh, the one that directed Chronos, Penn's Lanford, The Shape of Water, the Academy Award winner Best Picture, and his Best Director win. And, and of course, he directed the my favorite Marvel movie uh, sequel, Blade Two. Also, the movie does a great job of building the world and lore of the Hellboy universe so well, which I really appreciate. It establishes what the BPRD is and how it operates outside the view of the public. But what's more important is the main theme of it all is Hellboy himself and how he comes in terms with his dark origins as he struggles to find a place in this world. This reigns specifically true for Broom and his illness, as it represents the, the inevitable fate that Hellboy will have to carry on his father's place, even as, he's, as he frowns at the idea of anyone else filling him shoes. Broom and Lear Myers uh, state the theme of the story best in their book and the narration. What is, what is it that makes a man a man? It is the origins, the way things start, or is it something else? And ultimately, I think Myers answered it very well by saying that it is the choices, uh, the choices that he makes, as demonstrated by Hellboy deciding against, uh, deciding against uh, going along with Vespasian's plans in the name of love, which really books it the theme so well towards the end of the film. So, make uh, and pretty much. Uh, the film is a delicious mix of X-Men, X-Files, and Ghostbusters, and the League of Extraordinary Dublin. But more enjoyable than some of them, I'll say, in this terms, the X-Files, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, and the reason is that the poor Hellboy has a licensedly possible, uh, as a, uh, as a tenders for a full creature of the night, Liz Sherman, uh, played by some of Larry's fantastic choice, I think they're you know, chemistry between these terms really works so well. Plus, uh, Doug Jones' portrayal of F 
Ape Saint Brim, the, the fish creature, is also fantastic. He doesn't get much in the film, but I think the sequel does a better job using Ape as a character. Now, I gotta say, happy 20th anniversary, Hellboy. Hellboy is a fun film with plenty of heart and thrills, backed by great performances, I as mentioned before, from the likes of Ron Perlman and John Hart as Professor Bloom, and impressive theater effects that still hold up today for the most part, I'll say. But any bad parts are limited. Related to Meyer. I would have to say that Myers is a very weak character. I don't really understand why he's in this movie, besides being the ice for the film, for the audience, but he's very weak. I never really liked that. But I was happy when he was dropped from the sequel. And the movie skillfully accomplished what it set out to do. Take such characters as a big red demon and a telepath first person and make them label. Now, that is a big gun. So, overall, I highly recommend watching the 2004 Hellboy. It's one of the best and way better than what the reboot did. Highly recommend not to go watch the 2019 reboot. Really all. The 2004 film is the best origin superhero film I've seen in a long time. Thank you, everyone, for joining the Hellboy vs. Breakthrough slash review. I will come back later on to have more uh, respected slash reviews. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day and ciao.